I think we're all pretty happy with the product at the top, the multiplication. Thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up. Yeah, looking okay. Excellent. Okay. We are less confident with number two than with number one. This is interesting because multiplication and division. They're really the same thing, but viewed in reverse, okay? I suppose maybe, you know, if you um, have your parents or your brother or sister who drives, you know, driving in reverse, it is actually kind of more weird and difficult than driving forwards. Um, so maybe it isn't that surprising. That division is harder than multiplication. But if you have a look through, and this looks really good. I think Christian's done a fantastic job with the working. You can see he set up the division right here. And we're going through step by step. One of the things I really like is that he hasn't skipped anything. You can see he's put these zeros in here. What do they indicate? What are they about? Yeah, Nikhil. That the number doesn't go into the other number in front of it. Very good. 37, the, what's it called again? Starts with a D. It's the divisor, right? The divisor doesn't go any times into one. It doesn't go any times into 10. You've got to go all the way to the third digit. And in 100, you can fit it twice, and then you go all the way through in that same pattern. Okay? Now, let's have a look at the last question. This is what we've been focusing on most recently. Um, this is a really good start. It looks to me like the numbers are okay. Thumbs up on the numbers? Yeah. yeah? Okay. What I am going to add on to that, and maybe if your answers look like this, because I saw a few people wrote an answer almost identical to this, I'm going to add a little bit extra to it. Okay? Yeah. Uh, I can add on to A. Yeah. Um, yeah, go ahead. Um, yep. You might have um, noticed here, our parallel lines, they have no names, right? Like they don't have um, letters on them, so you can't call them anything. If you just say parallel lines, that's perfect. And as we've noticed, these different kinds of angles that we've got, they're not always equal, right? In fact, if you have a look at this one, that's not 101, it's something quite different. So I think that's outstanding. Interestingly, I probably would have done, let me color. I probably would have done this line first. Think about it for a second. Apply some logic with me, okay? This angle B, it is co-interior. What's it co-interior with? Yeah, A. Then. A. It's co-interior with A, right? So if I want to use the fact that it's co-interior, these guys, together, I kind of need to know what A is first before I can do anything. So I think this comes first, and then this comes second, right? On top of that, can I get a, a more detailed wording for what would I, what do I put here on the side? Someone else has said anything here. Anyone? Anyone got the reasons for co-interior angles? That was the most recent one. Anyone? Yeah, Mikhail. Oh, because they both add up to 180. Okay, so we have language for this, right? We have words that are more succinct that add up to 180. What's the word? It starts with an S. Yeah, Jaren. Sum. 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 Oh, okay. So yeah, the, the sum, right? The sum is 180. When it's 180 degrees specifically, we call that supplementary, okay? Which admittedly is a long word, but it's an important word to you. So I'm going to say in here, co-interior angles on parallel lines. And I'm going to use that supplementary word, right? They're not equal, they're supplementary. Okay. Uh, it's really vital that you get that explanation down because I'm trying to make an argument. I'm trying to convince you. You know, if a debater got up, and it's like, I, as the first speaker of the affirmative, reckon, yeah. I think it's true. And then they sat down. You'd be like, what? I'm not convinced at all. You want an argument in there. You want details. Okay? Question. Um, so what I did is I did the B first. I did 101 take. Oh, no. 180 take by 101. Okay. So. And then at yep. the end, I realized that 101 and A are the same. Yep. Good, so you actually can do it that way if you like. If some of you worked out B first, that's okay. However, be careful. This is not the reason that these two angles are connected. It's a different reason. There's different logic. What is the reason why B and 101 are supplementary in that case? Yeah. Because it's a straight angle and it's one. Very good. These are angles um, adding to a straight angle, the 180 degrees, okay? Um, they're not co-interior. They're actually on opposite sides of this um, parallel line, right? So this is true if I do it in reverse order. If I want to do B first, I need a different reason, okay? Excellent.